Well, hey, I'm Jeff McLaughlin, and I've known Dr. Rowan and Rebecca for, oh gosh, I think maybe about four years now, and got to know them uh, because I am a marriage coach and marriage pastor um, at a church, the church that they uh, used to attend, at least when they, when they were in town, and I got to do their premarital counseling. So I've gotten to kind of see their relationship from some of the early stages. You know, it's, it's an interesting question. I think one of the things I love about Dr. Roland is that I don't, when I talk to him, I've sat down with him in restaurants before, I've sat down with him just like off the, heck, we were in Chick-fil-A about an hour ago. You know, Chick-fil-A of all places, it's a presidential candidate. And I get real answers from him um, that are not like the political, hey, we'll get back to you when the committee gets together, that sort of thing. Like, I think that he and Rebecca really have an understanding Part of it is because of their diplomatic experience, but they have a great understanding of world events, protocols for working with leaders and things like that, that most of these candidates that I'm seeing out there just don't seem to have. And so I don't want the answer for what we're gonna do 10 years from now and you know, perspective kind of things. Like I think Dr. Roland knows on day one, this is how you talk to diplomatic leaders and understand them, but at the same time hold our might as a nation that is widely regarded as the leader of the free world. Honestly, I think that's a hard one because when we talk about uniting the parties, are we talking about the diplomats and the bureaucrats or are we talking about the people? Because I think what he cares about is the people. What I am is the people. And I think the people have spoken loudly. We want to know our neighbors and not have strife with our neighbors. There was a time in this country where you could sit down with your neighbors and, and your political affiliation didn't even come up. Like, unfortunately, media and at the highest levels of government, that's the stuff that seems to matter to them, when in reality, these are not the conversations that are happening on Main Street. And I think one of the things that I love about Dr. Roland is he knows Main Street. You know, he and his wife are walking around and I see them, you know, at these kind of political events and they're trying to figure out how to, how to calm a, an overtired baby and that sort of thing. That's my world. That's my life. That's the world of the American people, and I think that's what we care about. We're not interested in more people going to Washington and just being changed and saying they'll drain the swamp, when in reality, in so many different ways they are. And so I just think this is a guy that, that understands real life, Main Street, and you know breathes the same air that I do and has the same concerns about the country and for his own children that I do. And so I can identify with that. That's what, that's what I need. That's what I need my kids to see in a political candidate. I need them to have faith that they are uh, potentially electing somebody that actually is a true representative in this supposedly representative government.